years, MS Teamworks has shared perspectives on MS from all members of the MS team. And although 2020 brought unexpected challenges, we were determined that a pandemic and social distancing would not stop us from sharing new and meaningful perspectives. The setting was different, but the message is the same. I have MS. I have a team. I have a future. My name is Dory Cohen. I'm a multiple sclerosis certified specialist and a senior occupational therapist. I work at NYU Rusk in a neurological outpatient setting. So the purpose of occupational therapy is to help people be as independent as possible in, in their daily lives and to improve their quality of care. So we define occupations as relevant roles in a person's life. Um, so that can include anything from performing their self-care tasks, such as bathing, dressing, grooming, to their household tasks, such as cooking or cleaning, um, to leisure, such as playing video games or chess. It also involves any work-related or school-related tasks. Um, so when a, when a person comes into occupational therapy, we perform an initial evaluation where we do comprehensive battery of assessments. Um, when we're working with an individual with multiple sclerosis, we are discussing their medical background, their social background. We're looking for their physical function, their cognitive function, their visual function, and anything that is disrupting their ability to perform their occupations. Um, and the goal is to really address um, any of these barriers from both a compensatory and a restorative approach. So in general, research suggests that exercise can be very beneficial for patients. Um, exercise is important for improving and maintaining strength and coordination and visual function. Um, but research also suggests that exercise can be really beneficial also for fatigue management, for psychological well-being, pain management, and more. Studies are constantly coming out on the benefits of exercise. Um, but things to keep in mind when participating in exercise are the importance of pacing yourself. So, you know, in gym class when they told you, like, no pain, no gain, that is absolutely not um, the protocol for individuals with MS. Um, really, it's important to listen to your body and to avoid overheating, especially if you tend to have any heat sensitivity. Um, but otherwise, exercise is great. And typically, we recommend that you meet with um, a skilled professional to develop an individualized home exercise program that's best for your body. So the short answer is I believe occupational therapy really can be beneficial at all times within the disease course. Um, however, I do think that it can be particularly beneficial um, when someone is newly diagnosed with MS as there is so much to learn about disease symptoms. Um, and I think that that's a, a prime time to, to meet with an occupational therapist. Additionally, I think that it can be really beneficial after experiencing any relapses. Um, as that's when exercise and learning about adaptive equipment can be particularly helpful. Um, that being said, I do believe that really anyone within the disease course can benefit from therapy. Um, things that can be addressed for someone with more of a chronic disease course include fatigue management, fall prevention, safety at home, um, clutter management, stress management, as well as developing an exercise program to um, maintain and restore the function that they have. Um, so really across the board. So I, I think the word occupational therapy can be tricky to understand. Um, a lot of people define occupation null therapy um, as work therapy, and it's not. You know, certainly helping people be successful at work is part of what we do, um, but it's not the only thing that we do. We are not the same as vocational therapists. Um, I think another misconception is that OTs only help work on hand function. And yes, while we do specialize in working on restoring and maintaining strength and coordination um, within the upper extremity, it's also just part of the puzzle. Um, and so I, I hope that that's a big takeaway that um, really our job is to improve independence and whatever the barrier is, whether, as I said, whether it be physical or cognitive or visual or safety related, those are things that we address within therapy.
So on the initial evaluation, we do a comprehensive battery of assessments, um, as well as talking about functional goals. Um, so in that evaluation, we're able to determine what the deficits are, what needs to be addressed. Um, and then from there, we come up with the plan. Um, so typically, I, I like to see patients two times a week. Um, but again, if it's just a couple things that we're working on um, that can be addressed within a shorter span, I might see a patient for about 10 sessions total. Um, if it's someone who is presenting with more deficits that need to be addressed, um, then it will be a longer program, which typically tends to be um, up to 20 visits, um, give or take. Every person is obviously very different and we factor in what their goals are as well as what we're seeing objectively, um, and then we can develop that plan. So when thinking about an MS patient who benefited from occupational therapy, I must admit it was a little bit tricky for me to choose just one individual. Um, but one person who I would like to talk about um, is a man who came in, he had had MS for about five years. And during the initial evaluation, he said, you know, honestly, I really don't know why I'm here. My doctor said OT might help. Um, the only issue I have is that playing guitar is a little bit trickier than it used to be. Um, and during our comprehensive evaluation, I did further batteries. I looked at his fine motor coordination and I was able to identify that his left side was a bit more impaired than his right side. Um, I did identify m some weakness in that left side. And with further probing, I was able to, to decipher that he um, was having more issues in doing his work-related tasks, during typing, he was experiencing substantial amount of fatigue, and he really just didn't know what occupational therapy could help with. Um, I think that sometimes there are some misconceptions about what we do, um, and so some people think it is just related to hands, but there's so much more. And so part of it was the education, and this patient strived within therapy. We worked on a comprehensive home exercise program, we were able to improve his fine motor coordination. Um, I was able to teach him different ways to play the guitar, both by modifying the environment, modifying the task itself, um, talking about energy conservation strategies for playing guitar, and even introducing some adaptive tools. Um, so an adaptive pick in order for him to play a little bit better, a little bit safer. Um, and so he ended, I just saw him for a short program, but I think that we were able to really reach um, some substantial goals. So the main thing that I want viewers to take away from this video is the importance of occupational therapy. Um, as I said before, I think that there are some misconceptions about the definition of occupational therapy and really the content of what we can include in treatment sessions. Um, but I just wanna highlight that really any um, daily role that is impacted by MS is something that can be addressed within occupational therapy. Um, and so we really target it by restoring as much of that activity as possible and also being creative um, and thinking about other ways for a person to be able to do that task. Um, so that can include anything from making sure that they have the equipment that they need in the bathroom, um, making sure that they are able to exit and enter their, their apartment or their house um, safely. It includes their ability to drive um, safely. It includes their ability to um, be in the right proper positioning, such as a wheelchair. Um, that's definitely something that can be addressed within occupational therapy. Um, so I hope that the takeaway from this um, from this interview is that any, any activity that it is impaired or um, impacted by MS can be something that we address. Mm -hmm.